This is a talk show for the queer community. called the Ten Talks. Today we'll be diving into Le Grand Ball, which was created by Trayvon and Rumandi Makunda. Thank you all for coming tonight. Um, I know that under the circumstances of what's been happening in our country, it's been a very heavy week for everyone, and our prayers go out to everyone who has actually been victims, especially those who are also part of the House members, more specifically those from um, House of Curiosity and also the House of Palace. Our prayers go out to them. But moving swiftly along, of the 10 talks, where today we'll be diving into what happened on the Grand Ball, and um, let's go straight into it. So first up, we have our house mothers along with us. Um, so if they could just please introduce themselves. Um, my name is Lizzie. I go by Mum Thug in my house, and I'm the house mother for the House of Skebengas. I'm not a mother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah same. <laughs> but my name is Lerato um, Sismadlisa in the House of Skebengas. Nice to meet you. I'm Lelo, and I'm from the House of Tint. Okay, cool. nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you guys for coming. Tint. Okay, thanks guys for coming. Let me just shift a little bit. Are you guys okay tonight? How's everything been going for you regarding what's happening this week? I mean, like you said, it was a very somber week and mm. having to do something, I think, oh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very somber week, but like coming out today felt very necessary, especially what the Lagrand Ball and the whole, um, the whole event stood for. It literally stood for people that are literally suffering this week. So it felt like yes. an exhale of some sort, having an event that in the midst of everything that happened that still wanted to celebrate us. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 necessary. Okay. Yeah, like uh reiterating what she's saying. Mm. Um the week has been like quite hard. Like even this morning like I had a breakdown and stuff. But then um like having thank you. <laughs> um being able to come here and like be around um queer bodies and um just I don't know yeah it just bodies is like nice because um, having a chance to have like a conversation and stuff um, it's something that hasn't been like happening throughout the week it's just like absorbing all of that mm. like that has been happening and uh, now being in the space is like quite refreshing okay okay well thank you for coming guys um, I really appreciate your support because yeah as I said before it's been a very tough week and um, my prayers go out to everyone really how are you doing Ah, uh, babe, okay. I've seen, yeah, I've seen better days. I've seen much better days, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. I'm okay. It was dark for a little bit. No, You're kind of hiding in that couch, okay. are you sure? I'm literally just chilling. Okay. Like, I feel like okay. at this point, um, I'm trying not to exert myself way beyond more, like, that I can give. I'm just literally trying to keep it here so that okay. it nothing pushes anyone like I'm just trying to be a soft space for everyone okay 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 let's dive right into our questions guys so um, what influence has queer production such as Paris is burning and pose had on your life opulence <laughs> you own everything yes yes, yes. yes. listen yes. Yes. I, 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 I'm an ally in, in, in terms of the, the, the queer space and having something like Paris is Burning and Pose giving me an in-depth insight of how the community, like especially the, the, like the ball community actually functions and the terminologies and shade. Like, I mean, I used to use shade like, like, you know, very loosely until like watching Paris is Burning and they actually break it down where shade is you is you telling someone off, I mean, with what they don't, what they don't, or what, what they have, but exaggerating it. Like, mm. So if they, if they have a big nose, then you'd exaggerate that their nose is bigger than what. Not necessarily disrespect, not necessarily being rude. It's literally a flex of each other's features exaggerated. You get me? Mm. So I, I really enjoyed, like I said, Paris is burning because I learned a lot, especially about the ball culture. I mean, the, I think the most education we got was what RuPaul Drag Race, and I don't think it went in depth with how the ball culture and how the drag culture actually like functions and keeps itself alive. So that definitely, and like I said, opulence was was the best thing that came from from watching that. Mm. 
Um, I think what I enjoyed or mind most from both of these like iconic, iconic film mm. is that pieces of film, even though Pose is not like a film, but I'm going to count it as a piece of film, mm. is that they never left out that there is... There, it comes from a place of lack sometimes. It comes from a place of not having money. It comes from a place of not being represented. It comes from, it's coming from a place of not having a safe space. Mm. There is no point at which it was just like, this is grand, this is a ball, this is... You know, it was always very clear what the context of the balls and the the drag, what context it stems from, where it comes from. So it never alienated um, the space that was created from the reasons why it was created. Mm -hmm. And that's what I appreciated the most. Um, from my side, I think, uh, well, I'm never at home, right? Um, which is great because I like being around like friends and like, um, other queer bodies, right? And uh, watching Paris is Burning and how like people build it like a sense of family mm -hmm. with people that they're not like biologically like um, related to. That's really cool. Like uh, f that's something that I've picked up from like Paris is Burning and it's something that I've like been implementing into my life right now. Like I make friends with like queer bodies and end up calling my sisters, you know, like these are my brothers, these are my sisters. And like, yes. you know, um, that like, um, like watching that gave me like a sense of hope that you don't have to feel like displaced as much because like not having like a like being able to be like oh bro look damn like i love this guy or whatever mm. and like being able to say sis like damn i'm in love with this nigga <laughs> like you know um and seeing that happen on paris is burning gave me like that kind of like source of light that damn i can actually achieve this outside and what's your opinion on le grand ball it Any was a lot. I, yeah, by the end of the night, I had consumed so much. <laughs> it was overwhelming. No, 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 okay, no, okay. no, 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 no. We I were just, actually just, very just sober that day. That it was, it was intense. We were locked up in a room. We like, yeah, we were locked up in a room, and we had to like. Everyone is getting ready in one room, mm. and now you're seeing the person that's working in category, what they're wearing, and you're just like, yo, Anna Pentios, like, yes, no, no. <laughs> do you have it's anything proper, else? Proper like, it's, it's, it's stressful, it's competitive, it's beautiful, because mm. you also see, like, the natural competitive energy that people have. So, like I'm saying, like, when you see someone that's walking your, your what category. you call it, your category, so you don't want to wear your stuff now, you're like, okay, I'll sit naked for now, <laughs> <laughs> until, now until it's boy. time for us to go. But it was very overwhelming for me. Like it was, yeah. you, you literally bear your soul there. And it takes so much preparation and so much, I think I underestimated the amount of preparation that needed to go it, through it. Yeah. You know, I thought maybe we would have like the concept of what we're gonna wear, which categories are gonna walk, but like the pe mental preparation also of it during, before and after it was like a, a big shocker to me. It's a, it was a learning curve for me. Um, I think I had a very huge respect for the organizers. You guys shut are up, what? How did you do that? <laughs> it's a lot. Just organizing ourselves as a house. Just organizing what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, getting the stuff, getting the people, practicing. It's a lot. So the fact that you had to do that with five houses and judges and sponsors and venues and DJs, God, yeah, I had like a huge respect for the organizers. It's it's a huge feat, and it was accomplished with great um, success. Okay, um, it was my first time going to a ball, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm also like quite anxious. Like right now, I'm having a hard time speaking, but then I'm doing it. It's fine, know. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, You're not alone. Thank you. You're <laughs> um, never alone. But then uh, being in that space and like being able to wear things that I wear in my room, like without my mom seeing me and stuff, um, was quite refreshing. Like I walked down the like the runway and I was like shaking the most of the time. But then when I finished the whole like performance piece or whatever, I was like, damn, I just did that like in front of all these people and like also like I get to be queer in the space. Why? Oh my god, that's so cool. You know. Um, um, I think it's like a great platform to to be like um, a person for me, like mm. completely human. Like um, I only do this in my bedroom, and like 
being able to do it at the tennis club and the club oh my god that's so cool <laughs> yeah you know what, babe congrats on you for doing that yes. because it takes a lot of courage yes. and i don't think a lot of people say it yeah. and for you to have to actually hide yourself from your own mother is the saddest thing yeah. on earth and i do hope that you guys work on that relationship because I can't imagine anything worse than hiding yourself in a space where you're meant to be at your most comfortable and safe. But really, congrats on you, my love. Thank you. I'm gonna put you in a little jar right now. You're so adorable.